Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading. Love reading for the Pisces. Woo, angels of love comes up for the Pisces. Let's see what's happening in the lives of the Pisces. Oh my God, I, I just like to, I just like to be in your readings, you Pisces. Let's see what's going on for the little lovers. Undercover lovers, you Pisces. Undercover lovers, you Pisces are really some undercover lovers, you Pisces. So let's see what's coming up for the Pisces. Ooh, I thought more or less. That's my Pisces speaking right there. Ooh, you Pisces, black guys. Ooh, freedom. Hold on, hold on, you Pisces. You Pisces black men, dark skin, can't say black in color, dark skin men, you want your freedom, okay? You just want to have fun. You want to get all the little catties, cats. Uh, I, I, I pick up the slang from um, 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 someone. And um, it's all about devouring the puss for you, um, Pisces. <laughs> or devouring the cat, or devouring the, you know. But new love is coming in for you dark guys, you dark skin. But you want your freedom. It's like you just got divorced, or you just got out of a relationship, but someone in the past who you have met you're thinking about them you know who you are someone that makes you feel very good someone you can just be around this person and just feel your world complete but yet still you want your freedom you want to have fun but this person can you can't get rid of this person out of your mind, your head, because this person makes you feel good when you're around them. And it's as if you just got divorced or you just got out of a relationship, but you want your freedom, but yet still you're, you're thinking about this person. It's like you can't get this person out of your mind. So let's look, what is this all about? Ooh la la, it is your soulmate. Uh-huh. Yep, you can't, you can't let this person go. It's just, this person touch your life touch your soul in such a beautiful way that you can't let this person go it is and you know you have played a role where there was intervene but now you're trying to figure it do i have a chance some of you could be thinking back on your 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 marriage and thinking yeah but it's okay i'm not I'm not really bothered it's okay um, I, 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 I've, you know I've gotten over that but you're thinking about someone else who you have met and because of intervene people intervene in your relationship it didn't work out and you're wondering you know is it gonna work out you know you're looking back on your marriage and you're thinking I made the right decision I made the right decision I am not I am not upset about you know ending my marriage I made the right decision some of you are thinking okay I'm gonna marry this person this is a person I want to spend the rest of my life with and I definitely want to marry this person and it's for the um, dark skin guys what I'm also seeing here is that some information is going to be coming to you from an organization that some real positive news so the some truth is going to be coming out from an organization to you so it's as if you met you've met someone in the past and some situation has intervened but you can't stop thinking about this person and now 
some truth is going to be coming out so it's, a, it's as if someone lied about this person and that sort of a thing and some truth is going to be coming out and you're going to be so happy because not only for the person but the happy that you were right you had this feeling that this person um, was who they said they were or um, you know whatever they showed they were you know so wonderful and they really showed their beauty and you're gonna be successful because you're not missing your marriage because this person is as if this person has crossed your part and this person has been an instrumental role to you because it's as if some you can meet people who touch you in ways that another person your married your husband your wife has never touched you and just by the things that they do how they behave around you how you feel comfortable with this person this is exactly someone who has touched your life freedom is here and it's as if yeah you have your freedom a situation has ended um, for some of you but and you're spiritually protected because you you know it's as if you have gone through a bad marriage a bad relationship and it's now over and you have moved on but yet still you're you know you're protecting yourself and thinking about what has transpired some of you are definitely thinking about the person that you have met and never really connected with them the way you would love to connect with them what are they doing you know would they give you another chance you know where are they you know because you're turning your back on fun it's as if no I I want the fun but I can't stop thinking about this person I need to see this person I want to know what's happening with them I want to know is there ever going to be um a connection between us you have constantly think on this person yeah <laughs> are you you pisces i i'm just and it doesn't have to be a guy it can be a woman too mm -hmm. male and female energies let's see what's coming out in the second week Woo! <laughs> you know I love passion passion money okay Woo! oh you mature women what are you up to you all dazzling see it's all about fun times for you Pisces it's like the, the month of May for you Pisces it's fun time friendship strong friendship fun time it's as if you just want to have fun time you don't want to um, settle down you don't want to have anything serious the month of May in love for you Pisces is about fun time and you know building strong friendship but yet still not settling down because passion is here money is here and the mature women wants to just build some really strong friendships and have fun time so let's see passion Ooh, oh dear dear oh dear BAM <laughs> Okay, money is not going to be any problem. Um, you guys, <gasps> who tries to buy the love of a woman? It's not going to be any problem. Money is going to be there for you to do this. But some of you are going to be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And this woman is very, 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 very heavy on the wallet. Okay? Hmm. It's not on the passion, but I think that you know that the money is there. It could be you ladies are feeling passion for so whoop goop. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Bam. <laughs> Double passion. Double passion. Okay. Double passion. Double passion for you, Pisces. God damn it. Okay, you Pisces. Okay. So you Pisces are going to be having these hot, passionate affairs um, coming up with people. It could be with your marriage if you're still having that hot, passionate with your marriage. And for the people who are married, money is flowing. Ooh, 
oh the love is all so good wifey is getting you know or the husband because money is flowing and so I'm seeing this wonderful experience but some of you are definitely going to be having these passionate relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and some of you women are want to protect yourself and close and keep the passion off because of whatever the situation and whatever that is trans 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 uh, transpiring but you material ladies are not trusting a situation you want to have fun but you're not trusting a situation and you're having fun but you think that someone wants to get you involved in something else that you do not want to be in so you're having fun and you're not trusting a situation so we're going to be seeing what is coming up because you ooh, oh my god okay so some of you women are going to be meeting um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn or a very rich man okay and um, especially you mature women that's the energy that is coming up for you that you have met someone with you know some real strong dollars and but you're not trusting it it's as if uh, what is your play with me but the, you know you two are really lovers you two are in love with each other but you don't want to say it because um you don't want this person to think that um listen to your intuition you women that is not trusting a relationship in the second week listen to your intuition you are right on target so you mature women in the second week or it could be in a month that is not trusting a relationship you're having fun with someone but you're not trusting it because um the person could be connecting with you for fun but they are they want to be more serious and it was only supposed to be fun but now they want to be more serious now they want to take it to a a, a new level and you're like i don't know i don't think i want to do this right now because that's you know you just want to have fun but they want a serious relationship they are in love with you they're in love with you they are in love with you and this is a very um rich man this man he could be um he is a businessman and he's very powerful he's in love with you you know he sees he's in love with you i'm seeing he is is definitely in love with you 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 Pisces are really going to be meeting whoever you're in a relationship the passion is going to be good whoever you're meeting the passion is going to be good some of you mature women are seeing someone who is extremely rich but you're thinking that there's something that this person is insane and what this person isn't saying is that they're in love with you and they want to take it to another stage they want you to be the second woman they want you to be the second man but they're in love with you and they don't really want to share you but some of them are married and is in a married is in a in a relationship where they can't get out but the passion with you and what they feel with you and how they connect with you they want you to be like the second person in your their lives is this what you want and are you going to take it now the younger people wants to reconcile with um old love past love so the younger people are coming in that wants to reconcile with old love past love uh, they want to re uh, you know come back to these people money is definitely not going to be a problem especially for the men who likes to buy women nice stuff it's not going to be a problem okay third week what's coming up in the third week we have family and children we have the young ladies and we have the young male now 
the third week is more about meeting someone who makes your world explode mm -hmm. cloud nine experience oh yeah if you have ever been there because a lot of people on this planet has never been to cloud nine in a relation in a in in, in um, an intimate um, passionate session some of these people have never even come don't know what it is and I can't believe it if you, if you have never felt that don't do it <laughs> you know how can you experience sex when you have never come when you have never felt that two minutes of pleasure some people have never ever some women I feel you know really bad but um, there has to be some sex therapy or so, that sort of a thing I think some people also just have sex because their partner wants to have sex but never their partner never fulfilled them it's so sad I ain't doing that shit <laughs> okay let's get in the family let's let it go What's happening with the family? Okay, so some of you had some sadness about a relationship. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, listen, there is something that I need to tell you guys. Whoever you are that is seeing an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, I don't know why you have ever gotten in a relationship with the air sign person because you're a water sign person hair and water is storm hurricane name it you gotta understand the elements that goes together and the element that doesn't goes together now before I got I'm gonna go in your little situations there for someone who is watching we have a situation with a family and I'm seeing that some of you got divorced but um, now you're saying you know and you've got the divorce leave the house have your own house and the family comes over and you're you're seeing oh my god that was the best thing I could have ever done because you were in this marriage that has ended but you kept on going with the kids and then at some moment it, ex it went so bad and explored that now you're seeing oh my god this is so cool I have the kids all to myself the mother isn't here or the man isn't here and this is just so cool and you're thinking oh my god why didn't I um, do this you know I should have done this years ago because look at how beautiful this is everyone is just so happy some of you men are really going out there because you're looking for that person you're definitely definitely looking for that person you want to make a family and the offer is going to be coming in to you so you young men who are out there looking for a relationship looking for a family want to connect with someone it's definitely definitely going to be happening now as we move forward and I started laughing ladies and gentlemen because here we have miss little hottie yeah but miss little hottie is all over the place with somebody husband listen to me little girl you're about to get caught and this woman is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. This woman is someone in power. And you got to be careful because you're going to be caught, okay? Some of you young ladies might be going in same-sex relationship or you could be having an offer to go in a same-sex relationship. But what I'm seeing is that you young girls, be careful because... Um, you young girls be careful because you're all over the place and blah blah someone is watching you that wants to use you as a sex slave or use you as um, you know but be careful because they're going to be offering you something because you know you you just and you're all, and someone is thinking hmm she's just giving it away but um, maybe I could be her you know show her and tell her how to be financially abundant because she's just giving it away but she doesn't know that she could make some money and you know people are just so sick you know tell the child that you know educate yourself because you don't have to be whatever the situation is is that this young female has been sexually molested since she was a child 
so her way of connecting with people is through sex and she's saying to herself hey if let me flirt it because once I can use my body to get anything some of you ladies is gonna find out that there is some young person around your your husband that is like this and you're gonna take her and said listen to me you're young you're beautiful stop flirting okay cuz what is gonna happen is that someone is gonna pick you up and put you in either sex slave or that sort of a thing you need to curb yourself of how you're around and this is going to be good because um, this woman whoever she is is that she realized that either you liked her husband or you were in a relationship with her husband and instead of she's gonna be upset she's gonna speak to you um, in a motherless sense and she's gonna turn around and help you and this is beautiful not all Aries Leo or Sagittarius people are like that because they always use the sword but this person is doing something really positive and cool this to you and she's gonna deal with her husband later but she is going to make sure that she's gonna teach you something that you need to have respect for yourself as a woman and that is good because I, I really understand that uh, but um, she's gonna deal with her husband and trust me girlfriend you don't want to be there when she's dealing with her husband an offer is definitely going to be coming in um, for you young ladies as, as, as you young ladies could be picked up for a beauty pageant or someone could see you an older man and you know you could be going out with your girlfriends all the time all the place and then this older man is going to see you um, he's he's really um, you know he's wealthy he's a married man and he's gonna you know take you under his arms he's gonna um, send you to, to school and that sort of a thing so that's good so maybe that's what, what you were looking for and he's gonna treat you with respect all right so um, young male are waiting for a message and they still and they're waiting okay so these some of you are dealing um, with or was seen a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and whatever happened miscommunication whatever happened between you and this person you're waiting for the message but not no communication nothing there's absolutely no communication is still a silence and you love this person you you care about this person this person means a lot to you but it's like silence you you're not hearing from this person you, and all you can think about is this person and I'm wondering okay if that's the case why don't you just say hey you know how is it what's up you are expecting this person every time to communicate with you but they're saying why can't you reach out now so whoever is out there waiting for waiting for a message for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn someone who means the world to you because this is someone who you adore someone who makes you feel as if the heart stop life stop when you're with them call the person touch base with the person the communication isn't there because they're going through their stuff they think you're going through their stuff so they that is the only reason communicate okay because you're sitting down thinking wondering you know get out of your head and said hey what's up that's it is that other person is gonna answer or don't answer but it's not that they forget you because once you're thinking about someone it's because that person is thinking about you sometimes you're just busy and um, you can't and you don't really want to say hey let's uh, let's hung out and then you realize you can't because uh, something you're busy and that sort of a thing and you don't want to let the person know just touch base and say hey what's up I'm busy but you know just say hey what's up Pisces what's coming out in the fourth week for the Pisces some of you Pisces are 
Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I'm off you Pisces or oh 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 you Pisces. Um some of you Pisces are going to be meeting a man 45 years and older, that's the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It's definitely your true love. Okay, it's definitely your true love. It's no question. You women are going to be getting divorced. Women 45 years and older is going to be getting divorced. Some of you are with rich, prominent men. You are going to be getting divorced. They are going to definitely ask you for a divorce. And kudos to you, Pisces, because you're going to be meeting your twin, your twin flame. Damn it, you Pisces, because you Pisces are really going to be just so involved with your twin flame. It's just going to be so good. There. Seven of Pentacles. Some of you are in an open relationship and you're trying to work on yourself while in that relationship you know it's it's like open relationship open up the way for you to connect with yourself and understand who you are and this is what is so uh, what is happening and some of you are in an open relationship with um an aries leo or sagittarius and you're trying to work on yourself at the same time the twin flame relationship is beautiful. It's going to be wonderful. Um, in the four weeks, someone is going to reach out to someone who they, you know, and if you are in this relationship, it's going to be working as perfect as what? Definitely the ladies who are getting divorced, you're saddened, you, you felt betrayed, you felt as if... Uh, you know why is this happening to me some of you who are in relationship or have met a taurus virgo or a capricorn definitely they they want to return to you if you were divorced from this person they're going to be coming back asking um for they're they they want communication they're hoping for the communication they want you to open up and communicate with them because they want to return to this relationship so we are having some people who are divorced we have some people who have been divorced but the, the the other party wants to come back and you know regain um consciousness in the relationship they really want to return to this relationship um and it's not you um the person who wants to come back is um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn they have divorced you um, you had a long relationship with this person you have kids and they divorced you and now they want to return and they really want to build on this family situation and you know I'm saying give this person a chance because the Taurus Virgo or Capricorns are always your twin flame um, I guess this person realized their mistake and uh, they want to return because they think that um, their heart is still by you and they've seen it and now they want to return ladies and gentlemen I love your reading I always love Pisces reading oh my god and I just think about my cousin do not marry that man again because <laughs> I know you're watching it I know you're watching it. He's not a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. So don't marry that man again. I swear I'm not signing and I'm not coming to your wedding. And if I do come to your wedding, I'm not going to be a part of your wedding. So don't marry that man again. I know who you are. Um, um, some of you were in a, are in a relationship with uh, someone 45 years and older and he has done some shit and he wants a new start he's asking you to so be aware of that i love you guys i want to go on and on and on for you pisces but um i know you're watching so i'm late because i gotta get my readings done <laughs> so i love you i'll see you later um have a wonderful month you um pisces and uh, um i'm wishing you just a lot of wonderful 
um, energies in your love relationships um, subscribe 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 to my love reading subscribe and cheers namaste